Good morning, Dr. Yosla. We are from Group 3. Our group members are me, myself, Kishalini Arutas, and Kyle Misa, Lam Wei Liu, Liang Pei Wen, Liang Chin Song, and Lim Hui Yi. Hi, my name is Lim Hui Ying. Now I start to present what is the statistic for management. Statistics are usually defined as a collection of numerical data that measure some things and the science of recording, organizing, analyzing, and reporting quantitative information. Then I will continue to present. There are four components. First one is collection of data. Second one is presentation of data. Third one is analysis of data. The last one is interpretation of data. Furthermore, then I will continue to present about what the use of correlations and regressions. The correlations and regression is a statistical tool and used to measure strengths of relationship between the two variables. Then I will pass to the next presenter. Thank you. First is the relationship between study hour and their grades achieved. From Google form, we ask uh, four questions. One is, choose one subject that you study in university. The highest percentage is mathematics. The second question is, how many hours do you study? Uh, mostly uh, three hours. The third question is, what grade you achieve for that subject? The highest is 80%. And the fourth question is, the more time spent for studying, the better grades achieve. Uh, most of the students uh, agree with this statement. That's all I passed to my friend. Hi and good morning to the class. My name is Lim Hui Ying. Now I will present a scatterplot. A scatterplot is a type of plot or mathematical diagram to describe the value for typically two variables for a set of the data. If the points are odd, one additional variable can be displayed. In the picture, we can see the schedule show the relationship between the students, the study hours, and the greater achievement. We can know clearly there are negative corrected correlations because the variable moves in opposite directions. As one variable increases, the other variable will decrease. On the contrary, as one variable decreases, the other variable also will decrease. So for the conclusion is, is greater achievement and study hour away are negatively correlated. And that's all for my part. Then I will pass to the next presenter. Thank you. Hi doctor, my name is Long Chin Fang. I will now present about the equation of the least square line based on the data collected. Regression analysis is used to model and analyze numerical data consisting of value of an independent variable x and dependent variable y. The linear regression line is y hat equals to beta hat 0 plus beta hat 1x, which represents grades achieved, student study hour, y intercept, and slope of the line respectively. Based on the data collected, we can calculate and list out data as n equals 30, sigma xy equals to 6357, sigma x equals to 82, sigma x squared equals to 258, Sigma y equals to 2334. Sigma y squared equals to 185704. Mean x equals to 2.733. And mean y equals to 77.8. We need to find out the slope of the line. The formula will be equal to s sub xy divided by s sub xx, where x sub xy is the measure between the covariance of x and y and s sub xs is a measure of the variance of x. By substitute all the data, we get the value equal to negative 0.6673. Why? By our value of y intercept of the line is going to be equal to y bar minus b hat 1 times x bar, where x bar is the mean of x value and y bar is the mean of y value. By substitute all the data, we get the value equal to 79.60. Hi, I'm Lam Wei Liu. Now I'm going to present calculate the coefficient of determinations and coefficient of correlations. The step one for coefficient of determinations is find SS1. 
the formula is SSY is equal to SY minus 1 over N times sigma X times sigma Y. Below is the calculations. SSY is equal to 6,357 minus 1 over 30 times 82 times 2,334 is also equal to 6,357 6,379.60. The answer of SSY is equal to negative 22.60. Next, we're going to step 2, find SSX. The formula is XSX is equal to X squared minus 1 over N times sigma X squared. Below is the calculations. XSX is equal to 258 minus 1 over 30 times 82 squared is also equal to 258 minus 224.13 the answer of xsx is equal to 33.87 now we're going to step 3 find syy the formula is syy is equal to y squared minus 1 over n times sigma y squared below is the calculations SYY is equal to 185,704 minus 1 over 30 times 2,334 squared is also equal to 185,704 minus 181,585.20 The answer of SYY is equal to 4,118.80 Next, we're going to step 4, find V1 The formula is V1 is equal to SXY over XSX. Below is the calculations. V1 is equal to negative 22.60 over 33.87. The answer of V1 is equal to negative 0.6673. Now we're going to step 5, find SSE. The formula is SSE is equal to SYY minus V1 times SSY. Below is the calculations. SSE is equal to 4118.80 minus negative 0.673 times negative 22.60 is also equal to 4118.80 minus 50.0810. The answer of SSE is equal to 4103.719. Now we're going to the last step, which is step 6, find R squared. The formula is R squared is equal to SYY minus SSE over SYY. The, another formula is R squared is, e, is equal to 1 minus SSE over SYY. Below is the calculations. R squared is equal to 1 minus 4103.719 over 4118.80 is also equal to 1 minus 0 0.9963. The answer of L squared is equal to 0 0.0037. After the calculations, we can know that 0.37% of the total variation is explained by the regression line using the independent variables. That's all for the coefficient of determinations. I will pass to the next presenter. Hi, Doctor. My name is Liang Peiwen, and I will continue to present the part of coefficient of correlation. The first step is find R. We use the formula R equal to x x y divided by square root of x x x times x y y. So R will be equal to negative twenty two point six zero divided by square root of thirty three point eight seven times four thousand one hundred and eighteen point eight zero. R will be equal to negative 22.60 divided by 373.50. Therefore, the answer of R will be equal to negative 0.0605. As a result, a person correlation coefficient of negative 0.0605 indicates a negatively weak linear relationship between the variables. This is because R is between 0 to negative 0.5 the correlation between the variables is negatively weak. There is no correlation between the variables if r equal to 0. That's all from our group. Thank you.